driving you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. You'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The one William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Just hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Moripass? That plant that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day. I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Cabana and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. Mm. Hello, all English left back with some more evil rest. Uh, part four of the stream. Glad you brought Bloom back in one piece. They're waiting for you in the lab. Hope everyone's doing good. Let's, uh, Ooh, turn this about. Ooh. Good to see you back, sir. Be careful there, Mr. Rentier, sir. Very Just having a little... worries me it's not something you can orchestrate overnight we've been fighting each other for centuries like every other creature they change over time to get an upper hand against us until recently the sanguisus reproduced by turning their familiars a slow but effective process now there's this new breed <sighs> popping up like rabbits they're fierce and resourceful but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is de Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. Uh, holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. 
Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent. As in, I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently, you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well, maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Ro Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Okay. Can you go this way? Can you? Oh, oh, okay. We can. Maybe we can. Of course, if anyone watching just so happens to enjoy the stream at all at any point, feel free to drop us a like and a subscribe. Maybe share the stream out would be awesome as well. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. The higher-ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave-in. Many men were lost. Angus and Eastwood among them. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good. Is the other, I guess the other guy's just staying put. Oh no, those things.
Okay. Oh man. Damn. Cover. Um. On the D pad. On the analog sticks. Another covers. Let's see, do I Let's go this way. I'll take it. Hey, my rat. Electrocution. No, they must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, mm. I'm killing time. Oh, no, those again. Hey, is that all of them? Yeah, seems so. Eighteen ninety Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war. Against their natural enemies. Oh. 
to the any upgrades oh not enough okay pack No. that a picture of? Oh wait. Oh no. That can't be good. Oh, just a look.
good to go, man. That's useful. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well. Course is not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. <sighs> we got company. Keep your head down, kid. Oh no, no things again. No. Sidekick who can kickstart that thing. <laughs> Not skip. Oh.
we go. That's all of them. I hope. One down. Now for the other two, and we can open the gate and get down there. Can't anything be simple here? Store the power stuff. More money, more problems. That's tight. Now, um, Oh, that. Okay, what this day? Got the second one. Should be it. It worked, Mr. Jesse. I can see that, you know. Now what? Oh, what? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's try to do that again.
Shooter here. Oh. Well, maybe that wasn't such a good idea after all. At least I got closer. Yeah. He got closer, all right. Mr. Jesse, hey, are you all right? So there is another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. You gotta see this. workstation you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now wait have i just made myself useless no you're still good for comic relief i am um no enough not enough moolah though Money. Ready to roll, sir? That I am. Uh oh. Towards up towards the TNT. No. Oh. 